Hello Falcons, it's January 20th, 2022. Today is Penguin Awareness Day. Did you know penguins poop every 20 minutes? Wow. Let's just start with today's news. Good morning Falcons, I'm John. And I'm Mitchell. And I'm in pain, Gwen. The Muslim Student Association will be meeting on Thursday, January 27th. The meeting will take place from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 2213. All are welcome. Students in Mr. Cologne's first semester art class, please pick up your artwork, paintings, t-shirts, drawings, in the next two weeks. Join us for our next GSA meeting in room 3216. We will have snacks and fun activities. Our next two meetings are Wednesday, February 2nd after school from 3.30 to 4.10 p.m. and Wednesday, February 16th before school from 7.25 to 7.55 a.m. If you have any questions about our club, see Audrey Almonds or Miss Swank. We hope to see you there. Attention sophomores, if you plan to visit the Career Academy on February 1st, please see your English teacher for a permission slip. Signed permission slips should be returned to the guidance office by 3.30 p.m. on January 26th. Late forms will not be accepted. Now, stay tuned for a video featuring Franklin Heights senior Lyndon Young, who spoke at the Martin Luther King Jr. March this weekend in Columbus. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. As she mentioned, I am Lyndon Young. I am a senior at Franklin Heights High School and I just thank you for allowing me to speak with you all today. It is such a tremendous honor to be able to stand here. The topic of my oration is, how can we put being our brother's keeper into action? Dr. King once said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are we doing for others? I think first we should ask ourselves, what is a brother, or better yet, a sibling? A sibling to me is someone you would go to great lengths to protect and provide for, not because you have a great relationship, but because you are connected through a shared parentage or familial connection. Deeper than this, a sister or a brother is someone you should love just because they are your sibling. But we're all here because of Dr. King, so what would he say? Dr. King made it clear that we as humans should connect in brotherhood rather than separate in opposition to one another. He once said, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. A great example of this is the East High School Tigers. From the years 1968 to 1969, they were one of this city's first integrated basketball teams. Their courage to create a brotherhood where one's race wasn't an issue made them champions. All the other schools that refused to integrate lost because they excluded good players simply because of the color of their skin. The Tigers, they all had different political and religious affiliations, but that didn't stop them from building a brotherhood. Our world currently is very polarized, and that often stops us from making connections with people who disagree with us. This does not make us stronger. It just keeps us from hearing another point of view. Now, I would like to go back to the last part of the quote, because I find it very intriguing. Perish together as fools. This ties the whole quote together. Dr. King believed, like the East High School Tigers, that if we refuse to integrate, refuse to connect, refuse to protect one another, we would not succeed. We as humans should look at each other as siblings, not as rivals, because brotherhood is strong and separation is weak. Like the Bible says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Whew. So to answer the question, how do we help our fellow humans? For that, I also look to the Bible as Dr. King did. The Bible has a clear message spread throughout it, New and Old Testament. Feed the, feed the hungry, take care of the sick, give shelter to the cold, love your enemy. Deuteronomy 15:11 says, "And there will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed with your fellow Israelites." The issue with this is not all of us can give. Some of us just can't afford to. But most of us have a voice or the ability to communicate. So the alternative is to advocate, to protest, to fight on others' behalf. This is what it means to be your brother's keeper. You are responsible for them. You are expected to take care of them. The origin of the phrase comes from the biblical story of Cain and Abel. When Cain was asked his brother's whereabouts, 
He replied, am I my brother's keeper? The problem with Cain was, is that he was jealous of his brother and killed him. He was the opposite of what a good brother should be. We should be the opposite of, his, of Cain. He wasn't his brother's keeper. He was his brother's downfall. Ooh. Now, another quote from Dr. King I find very inspiring is, we are called to speak for the weak, for the voiceless. He then goes on to say, no document from human hands can make these humans any less our brothers and sisters. This means to me that regardless of where people come from on this planet, we are expected, we are called to speak out against injustice all over the world. This is why I find Dr. King so inspiring. He was not only a champion of racial justice, but he was a humanitarian. He could care less where people came from. He once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Another reason why I find him so inspiring is that he was willing to die for what he believed in. He told us, and I'm going to paraphrase, that he saw the promised land and that he wouldn't make it there with us. But as we all know, he fought so hard for us to get there. So this is how we can put being our brother's keeper into action. Protect them, provide for them, advocate for them. But most importantly, treat every human not just with respect, but love. Like the song says, this whole world wouldn't be half as bad, wouldn't be half as sad if each and everybody in it had just a little loving. Thank you. Our wrestling team will be competing tonight against Dublin Sido. Good luck, Falcons. I plan on being a gymnast. <laughs> Today's weather will be cloudy with a high of 26 and a low of 15. What's good, Falcons? Today we got Stromboli, Super Nachos with Tostitos, and Meatball Sub. Happy birthday to John John Plower, Erica Hartman, El Elma Martinez, and Kristen McFarland. Thanks for watching, Falcons. Follow us on Instagram for behind the scenes extras.